How about pointing our cameras all the way up to the top of the food chain? We know what you're thinking. How can this man survive an attack from a 400-pound tiger? Meet Randy Miller, who with his production team has worked on blockbuster films with lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! We do action, we specialize in action, so we know how to condition an animal and get it ready to perform on the day. Here's how Randy simulates a tiger attack. His goal is to get this 14-year-old female tiger named Tara to focus on some food in his hand. Unlike most trainers who use intimidation to control the cats, Randy uses a reward system. We use food for motivation. It's positive reinforcement. I know it's dangerous. I lost my cousin working with a bear and getting ready for, to do a stunt. When the hungry Tara is riled up enough, Randy teases her one more time with the chicken leg. Here, kitty kitty. Once Tara's back in the cage, Randy assesses what he calls collateral damage. Um, she could really do more damage if she wanted to. This is pretty superficial. I think what happened there was she got the chicken from me too early, and so I took it back, and she caught me. We're amazed she didn't get more. A tiger can take down and kill prey much larger than itself, and its massive canines can penetrate the toughest animal hide. Unlike humans and dogs, tigers can't chew or grind. They lack molars, and their jaws can only go up and down, not side to side. Instead, they use their razor-sharp teeth, called carnassials, like scissors, to slice the meat into bite-sized bits. And that went right in front of your hand and just took the chicken. Yeah, oh yeah. And that's yeah, yeah. pretty precise. It seems like they pretty equally favor using their paws and using their jaw. Is there a dominance Well, it's there? both. I mean, they hang on with their claw and they kill with their mouth. 1,083 pounds per square inch. Normally, that would be extremely dangerous. When she's got you in that vulnerable position, if she gets a hold of your neck, you know, usually they'll just, they'll, they'll nail you good. Part of the reason why Randy can do this over and over and over again is his very personal relationship to his performing partners. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. These are the big attack tigers. These are eight week old tiger cubs. They're Bengal tigers. And they'll both be about 400 pounds when they're full grown. Hey, vet, get them to come by these guys and they can pet them. Why are you stalking me? Well, I got you know, the key, the key to their heart is to play with them like a tiger. Nice. It's just not easy. This is Titan, a six-year-old Siberian tiger Randy has known all its life. At 500 frames per second, it's magnificence in motion as Titan leaps six feet up to the platform. Wow. Wow. The he looks so, so awesome. majestic jumping there. That's crazy. Yeah, nice so spring. Amazing. Oh, there's the claws. See, they use those claws to stomp for breaking. What I'm always amazed when I see these cats jump is that they only exert exactly the amount of energy that they <laughs> yeah. need to. Like, yeah. it's only getting to that edge. Doesn't need to get any further. Yeah. No wasted energy. Yep. Tight. Titan! But sometimes, Tight. Titan yeah. just doesn't feel like following directions. <laughs> Most of the time, they behave. But sometimes they get a bit uh, playful. Note to self, that 600 pounds of man-eating animal on the loose. What could possibly go wrong? Get him up here. Hey! Stay. That was intense. That was, hey! All right, let him have it. It's weird, when you look through a lens, you feel like you're far away sometimes, and then the dude falls off the last platform and almost you know, trips on you. Yeah, eye level it was very scary for a minute there. The high-speed footage confirms that this wasn't an act.
Chitin had his eyes on the prize, and his prey instinct wasn't taking no for an answer. Prey instinct's there when you're hungry, when you're eating, but the fear instinct has to be there all the time. So it's got to dominate the most for you to stay alive in the first yeah. place. To show us one of his big cats in action, Randy takes Titan, a 600-pound Siberian tiger, and our crew into the wild. Well, there's that joke about the bear chasing people out of the woods. You don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the co-host. You guys will be working outside of the hotline. And uh, you know, if the tiger were to breach the line, don't panic. Stay still. A trainer will be with you, and we'll you know gain control of the cat and bring him back. Right. So if the 600-pound savage hungry alpha predator gets loose, trainers are standing by. OK. We're now completely reassured. We're standing in front of a two foot tall hot wire to, yeah. to keep us alive. So is that all based on training them to fear the wire in general? Yeah, you know, it's also something that we do. It creates a false sense of security for guys like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it doesn't. laughs> We're laughing on the outside, but crying on the inside. It's better if you don't run if you get scared, because that could draw in the tiger, really. OK, are we sure we got this safety thing handled? Hang on a sec. Besides the fence, Randy also has the old standbys, a dart gun with sedative, his crew with canes, and the obligatory paramedic for bait, a road-killed pigeon. So we're uh, using this for lure, and we're now getting him into lure. We want to make sure that he's going to want this. So we're bringing out his prey drive, and that's the motivation we need to get a long, hard run. Yeah, see, he's into it. Yeah, that's right where we want him. Showtime. Cue Mr. Kitty. Let him out. And action. Yeah, baby! Whoa. This is one focused feline. Imagine looking over your shoulder and seeing this coming at you. So he's stalking it. Now he's decided to go for it because he's close. You're surprised at the amount of shake in the paws. Yeah, he's Catches. bending the, pa the paws more, much more than you think he would. You know, he's bending them and they're coming out. And you see the claw come out a little. The closer he gets to the lure, the more intense he gets. And it's amazing how long his stride is, you know? Once he picks up speed, his stride becomes much longer. How fast can they run? Top speed for a Siberian tiger like this would be about 35, 40 miles an hour. What I think about this is how scary it is that 